Someone's coming. Someone's coming. What is this? What is this thing? It's a nine. Let me see. <clears throat> Killing demon. It's on it's number twenty-four on his list of things to do. <laughs> well, the night crew is busy, so we'll wait till wait for morning. So this is gonna start working. It's probably gonna overheat super fast, so we have to be careful. Maybe we should set like a temperature or something, like maybe a automation for temperature, right? Like it gets past a certain temp when we turn it off. But what would that be? And what can we make it out of that will actually like survive? Well, we can make a tiny one out of steel, actually. Well, let's try it with, uh, with iron first. And then we'll put it like, uh, fuck me, I don't know. We'll go over here. <laughs> we get a little distance away. And then we'll run wire to it. This will also give me an opportunity to like shut it off very quickly if I need to. So... We have lots of potential steel. The steel that comes out is pretty hot too, right? Isn't that the case? The steel that comes out is like crazy hot. So maybe what we should do is just set up a couple bins here. Maybe like one bin for the time being. And just have a store steel. Oh, or maybe, maybe we put the steel, we'll put this thing underneath the oil here. That way it'll dissipate throughout the, uh, this whole setup here. So yeah, we'll put it right here. That'll work, right? So sending a red signal right now, which is fine. Wait till this gets built. I mean, it's already so hot in here. How much water can you get? Come on, carry more, Navy Devil. Why are you bringing like tiny little rocks? <laughs> Bring like a whole bunch, a wheelbarrow full of this stuff. Oh, that's running. Hmm. I wonder if I want that cushion. Let me see. We'll say at or above. Let's say uh, 2,000. Give it an opportunity to build up a little bit. This thing's also running too, which is going to siphon some power, but not necessarily enough to break anything. Yeah, we have just enough power being used to support those two uh, natural gas generators. This is ridiculous. That's all it takes. Okay, so industrial ingredient, no, uh, metal ore, refined manufacturing material, steel. There we go. And that'll be a nine. <sighs> okay, so let's go ahead and turn it on. So if it's above, let's say if it's above 300 degrees Fahrenheit, then it will shut off the machine. I think that's fair. That's good. I don't really need this right now, though. Let's go ahead and disable this. <laughs> yeah, it's because uh, we're running at dev speed right now. This is normal, but yeah, we're running at dev speed. It goes crazy. Okay, so it's iron steel forever. Here we go. Let's see who answers the call first, and then also how much how much damage it does to the area. So there's lime. You want to send a green cell below 300. Oh, oops. Uh, it's a green cell below... If it's above 300 degrees, send a green signal. Oh, is it to say... Oh, yeah, duh, backwards. Sorry. Yeah. So all my other ones are all turn on after a certain temperature type thing. Yeah, I forgot. Backwards. Oh, complain about heat! In the suit! I thought the suit's supposed to make them, like... They could, they're fine with heat. God, it's so hot in this room. God, turn this fucking thing off, guys. What the fuck? Disable, I already told him to disable the building. Oh, maybe I misclicked it or something? Weird. All right, so let's see what the temperature of things coming out. Slow it down a little bit. Let's see, it comes out 435 degrees through the granite pipes, by the way. Granite pipes. Hello. Uh, 188, so it's doubling in heat. Whoa. And then, I mean, then it's pouring in here and it's just diluting. That's what we want. We want it to just dilute. Temperature over here is 177 degrees. It's a storage bin. I wonder if we can actually see it, like on one of these. 
settings. Not really. It's just still hot in here. You can't really tell a difference. So there you go. So steel's been stored. That goes in there. They're doing a lot of running around. They're running over here to get this. To get this stuff emptied. So what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll make it a six. Uh, and then we'll put, we'll put another one over here. Just copy the settings. And then we'll just put it, like, right here next to it, I guess. That way, keep it sto keep it uh, going. What up? <laughs> what up, Frar? It's made out of sandstone, so is it just gonna, like, <laughs> fall apart? <laughs> just melt instantly? Oh, what is this problem? We're waiting coolant. Oh, it's gonna take a while to charge it up, huh? Good. So, we'll go and copy the settings of this one over here. Copy settings. Copy. The difference is this is going to be a 9, so they'll move everything from that one to this one. So we'll make this a 1, and we'll deconstruct it also. And this is uh, operating pretty cleanly. Good, good. We got a little bit of water build up, which is good. I'm doing good. Doing doing well, I should say. Um, <clears throat> have managed to... Have managed to somehow survive almost 900 cycles. A steel auto sweeper can keep it loaded. Yeah, steel though. <laughs> everything, everything will be solved with steel when dealing with this thing. I guess I need more. Uh, I need more drains, guys. I don't have enough drains. Apparently, I should. I should put a couple more right here. What is that? Uh, it's keeping. Uh, eh, it's fine. We can put. A, we can squeeze a few more in there. Do 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 do. That's what it sounds like every time I do that. There we go. A tasty overheat damage. What is overheating? Security door, liquid pump. Ah, shit. Why is that overheating? Why is this water so hot? Oh yeah, duh, because it's made out of iron. Let's swap it out for some gold. Save auto repair. Or oh, maybe make it out of steel. Never have to worry about this problem again. Now nah, we'll do gold and see what happens. That should be enough. Noble gamer! 16 months on right, Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for hooking that up. Uh, at first we thought plastic would solve everything and then we needed steel. Exactly, exactly. Plastic was like, that was the solution to everything. Okay, here we go. They're moving everything over. Good, 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 good. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's waiting coolant. They're gonna get these drains in and that's gonna help. Help a little bit. <clears throat> so they're going to make a little bit at a time, which is actually gonna keep it from overheating, I think. Uh, or from really generating too much heat. I mean, granted, the water here, the, the oil here is going to get, like, crazy hot. Uh, and so, I mean, we might run into problems with the pipes maybe melting or the drains. Well, the drains are made out of gold, actually. So, if the drains start melting, we done fucked up. But we just want to make about as much steel as we can to work with. We have 2,000 right now. But it's every, it's, it's not like... You need less steel to make something, right? Like you, you still need the same amount of steel to make whatever it is you're making, uh, as as let's say aluminum ore or something like that. So yeah, it's gonna be, <clears throat> yeah, we'll see. But we'll pay attention to that, or you guys will. Someone will say something. Did they get these things out? No. Okay. So I think we can just leave it alone and we can start moving uh, on to something else. We have other things to keep an eye on. What is the temperature in here? 129 degrees. So it's still maintaining. It's maintaining that 129 degrees ish, give or take. Those levels. So, and we're keeping this room basically like just what, just perfectly. Let's see, atmospheric sensor over 3000. Oh, I set it to below. <laughs> Uh, above 3,000. There you go. Uh, but I'm now that we're over 4,000, let's go ahead and make it 4,000. I want to keep this room as compressed as I can, but oh my god, the hydrogen is leaking all over the place. Wow. 
Yeah. Maybe, uh... Maybe 3,000 makes more sense. Otherwise, this is gonna bleed into everything else, and it doesn't make any sense to do that. Next up is super coolant. Yeah. Yep. Maybe eventually. We're still getting carbon dioxide, and it's it's coming from this. It's coming from these things. But these things are doing great, except why are they putting in here? Edible. Nobody's cleaning shit up. Oh my, how long has this been waiting here? <laughs> hey, look, guys, plastic! Maybe we should make this like a six or something. Because it's, it's the problem is that the errands, they're not very high. Oh, Lindsay's the only one that supplies, huh? Oh, here we go. Donis, everybody. Good, 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 good. Uh, and this should be like a nine. Perfect. Good. So for st food stores, I will make that a little bit higher because I don't want the food to sit out and just rot like, like it is right now. This is body temperature issue. Probably from the heat below. Yeah, it looks like from the down here, you're getting a little bit of heat bleed. Whereas everywhere else in the base is doing okay. I feel like the base should have been cooler by now. Time for priority reset. It's definitely getting there. The oxygen coming into this space is 5 degrees. The oxygen coming into this space up here is 8 degrees. And it's trickling in slowly. The oxygen going down into the basement is not even that hot, actually. Uh, cold. It's like 50 degrees. But because it's more of it, it's, um... Ah. Uh, that's the problem. Because it's more of it per blast, it's actually pressurizing the space with mediocre... <laughs> lukewarm uh, at 50 degrees lukewarm oxygen instead of allowing space for the cold cold oxygen to thrive so I think we just deconstruct this and that'll solve that because yeah I think all of the, all of them will I mean they're not yeah they're they're not quite we could in probably increase the amount that they're pushing out here a little bit let me see we'll make this 75. It's a pretty big difference, but I won't. We'll, we'll we'll see. If it starts backing up, then it's too much. Oh, we copy settings. I forgot. So we should see more coming through here. Uh, seventy-five. So now we're seeing seventy-five. If it starts backing up, then that's a problem because that means we're just basically letting oxygen sit in pipes, uh, and we don't want that. We'd rather use the oxygen elsewhere while it's still fresh and still good. Because I love this. I love this animation of. It's always Donis too. Every time I look at this thing, it's always Donis. Ah! <laughs> now he's sleepy. Now, okay, go sleep. You go sleep. Let's see. How's the pipe build up? <laughs> yeah, definitely time for a priority reset on some things. We're actually not, we don't get how much water we don't have over here. That's pretty crazy. Oh, speaking of, actually, now that we're pumping dirty water in, I wonder how that's impacting the rest of the lines. Oh, still good. As long as we still have this backup here that we've created with this throttle, uh, I think we're still good. We don't have really, you don't have water really going anywhere else. We have water in these reservoirs. We're bypassing it with this right here. So yeah, we have a direct line of water to things that desperately need water. Like for example, the soda machine that was just happening. There we go. Only one plastic bed. Yeah, just found out Temtem is available on GeForce Now, and I just checked can play on my Android phone. Just need a controller for phone. Oh shit. Yeah. Huh. <coughs> That's um. I'm interested. <laughs> Play on the phone? That's perfect. Just waiting for this. There you go. 894, almost at 900. I want to get I want to get to 925. 950 would be great today, but I don't think that's going to happen. So we're going to enable this pump to start moving some of this liquid into this space here. I did say that what I was going to do is I was going to move this over and just suck up clean water uh for you know for the uh, for the the feed but since we're not really suffering like we're not, we're not really losing water anywhere in these lines like oh there's clean water everywhere uh it's not that big of a deal it's hot clean water but it's clean water nonetheless and so yeah we'll turn this on to siphon some of this out it'll dump in here uh if we start to see a loss in water pressure across the entire base then we'll start uh looking into maybe getting another sieve because like, we've we've been doing all of this on one single sieve so yeah, that'll be the the next solution here. And we'll put that somewhere else. We'll figure it out. Hydrogen is operating right now. Is that backed up? Oh, beautiful. That's what I want to see. I want to see hydrogen in the lines. Like, this is good. This is good. We're keeping the room at a certain pressure. Uh, it's actually... You know what? 
it's actually building up to the point to where we can't even use it fast enough because we don't have enough hydrogen generators to to process the amount that we're generating for in this room by our three electrolyzers that go all over the base and then somehow still manage to make it back into this room. Uh, so we should seriously consider cooling this room using, you know, aqua tuna or something. Um, God, I had a, I had a system. I, you know what we should do? You know what we should fucking do? We should go. See, I want to drop F bomb. You know, it's real. This is, this is serious. Uh, we should go exploring. We should just strap up a couple dupes and just go, just go exploring across the great wide, whatever, and see if we can't find another cold biome. I'm willing to bet that there is nothing left over here to the left in, in terms of like another cold biome. And ba oh, so by the way, what I'm looking for is wheeze warts. I don't really care about the cold biome itself. I want the wheeze warts. Um, are you building the refinery out of ceramic or steel? Uh, what is it made out of? Ceramic. The metal refinery. Yeah. How's this doing down here? How's the temperatures here? 182. Wow, it only went up a couple degrees, degrees, which is good. That means it's heating up everywhere else in here, which it is. What's the melting point of the strain? Melting point is... Oh, cool. So it's at 1,946.9 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,063.9 degrees Celsius. So it's kind of going to be a little while. And it's not even using it that often. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> it's hard to build up a little bit there, guys. Let's not let it overflow. Maybe we should turn this thing on and process some, which is also very dangerous. We're definitely not pumping anymore, that's for sure. But we're cycling in on itself. Oh, you know, we're cycling in on itself. That's why it looks weird, because we're dropping it right here. If it starts to make a mess, we'll go clean it up. Tomorrow me. How's this doing? Good. Check those pipes. Yeah. Go and get that. What is that? Home? Blueprint. What do we got? Still. <laughs> Granted, it's only like a hundred keys, which is basically what it's like three wi four wires, <laughs> four steel cables, <laughs> and that's it. Uh, but still, it's something. It's something. Let's see. What is our? I want the coolest point of exit. Oh shit! No, we have dupes with suits. We should probably use the suits. Yeah, here we go. We'll go through here. Straight underneath this. They already have their suits. They can crawl across this. They could take a they could take a tube all the way down here, actually. Most of the way. And then Oh god, Patreon just like spanned everybody. Rip. Um What is this? Polluted water. Oh yeah, this is great. Polluted water and all that nonsense. Super. We'll just go straight through there. Oh man. No, because then we're going to let all this shit in. I guess we could just cut it out and just put like a, a floor of... Because um, this is hot. Like this is hot. This is our seeping in the base. We're fucked. Uh, so yeah, I think we just use... We, we see. Insulated tile. What I have? What's the best insulated tile? What's the, what's the best material to make insulated tile out of that I have? <laughs> Ceramic? <laughs> um, let's see. Fossil. Obsidian. Probably obsidian actually. Do I have... What else? Do I have... Uh, granite. Igneous rock. I was joking about the ceramic, though. Yeah, probably obsidian. I have lots of obsidian, so yeah, we'll use that. So let's go ahead and get that painted. And then what we'll do is we'll do, uh, we'll go like this. We'll do, like, a double layer. So we'll start here. And we'll cut across. To this. What is in here? Pluto. Oh, good. Just Pluto oxygen. We could deal with that. So we got this big-ass thing right here. <laughs> big boy. We got it. And then we will, we'll do one layer and then we'll do another layer on top of it just to double it up. And so we'll start the dig. And we'll also put a, uh, a layer up top too. So we'll basically top and bottom layer to keep this area, you know, <clears throat> from uh, getting in trouble. And then, yeah, so we'll double layer top, double layer bottom. This will be the top layer. All the way up to the cool biome. And this should help. So they dig through here. Dig, 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 dig. Lay a floor. Da, 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 da. Floor goes all the way down. And then they build another layer of flooring all the way down. And then they'll be high enough to reach this. They'll finish that off. And then we'll do the next layer. And so that's how we'll do it. Ooh. 
Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna find an ice biome. We're just gonna break in and we're just gonna steal. <laughs> that's all. We're just gonna steal the damn um the uh what's it called the wheeze warts. And then once we steal the wheeze warts, then we can make a nice little room that will uh allow us to cool a bunch of like thermal regulators or whatever, and then go from there. Poor Puff. Ah, he'll be fine. Ooh. Oh, he's, he's entombed. His health is still good. Yeah, I'll wrangle him, actually. Well, I can't wrangle. Is it because he's entombed? Maybe. Oh my god, you fucking... How do these guys do this, man? How on earth? How on earth? This is like the second time for Donis. Boots. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, we'll do this, and then we'll do this. That'll get him out, at least. Let's try to build it again. Now, Boots, that's going to be... Oh, you know what? Uh, before we do that, we'll have Boots just claws way out here. So do that, and then cut this. Oh, actually, no, no. Instead of cutting that, just go down. <laughs> just do this. Uh-oh. No? Priorities. Boots. If he's not allowed to dig, what does he, what does he do? Oh, he's building. Oh, okay, well, that works too, dude. Yeah, do that. Get him. Get him. Is he not able to get out, though? Surely he is. Okay, okay, good. We're good, guys. We're good, we're good, we're good. Just people being dumb, you know how it is. <sighs> do the ones behind you so you'll eat, dummy. Here comes all that liquid, by the way. Oh, he can't break this. He can't break this. <laughs> he just had the ability to break this. Uh, I think we have someone on the night shift that could do it, though. <laughs> oh, he could do it? What the? What? The decisions that these dupes make sometimes don't make any sense. Yeah, he pissed himself. Great, great. That's gonna be a mess. Awesome. Let's go get it. Let's go fetch it. Here it is. Oh, God. <sighs> Gross. Doesn't he clean up after himself? <sighs> I'm just gonna sleep on the crown. Exactly. This is going quickly, though. This is good. It's gonna be a mess coming up here, though. Once we open this up. Actually, we can go ahead with the second layer now. And then, yeah. And all that would just slosh into here. How's this doing? This is doing well, actually. And how much steel do we have? 5.8 tons. See? See? I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big smart. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, all this hot air. Eh, that'll be fine. That'll dissipate easily in here. There's so much oxygen in this room. Where is that? Let me see. Uh, oxygen. Yeah, there's plenty of oxygen here. It'll it'll dissipate pretty easily, pretty quickly. This is the job description for a dupe. Didn't say anything about problem solving. You're right. You're technically correct. <laughs> I don't believe that there's any problem solving trait that you get with anybody. Oh, come on, dudes. Yeah, oh, this is great. It's already green. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you get that top layer, though. What if I should route some, uh, some plastic tubing in here? Can I get the tubing past these things? I can't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, I can't get past the building, so I guess we can't bring it uh, the tube over. But that's fine. That's enough, I think, right there. Oh, man. This, both sides of this have already equalized, pretty much. Over a thousand cycles. Come on, come on. Oh, we could do the bottom layer here. Uh, 
They're doing work. I guess we didn't get that puff. Oh, I guess we can't wrangle a puff? It's not an option. Hmm. Here it goes. Good. Good. That's what I want to see. All that nastiness go over there. Get all this completed. And then we'll keep on digging off to the... What is this? Oh, it's iron ore. Oh, nice. And what is this? Rust. Salt. 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 I don't know what to do with all this stuff. Bleach stone. Okay, we got to be careful with that. Rust. 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 I know you could take rust and make, like, oxygen stuff or something. Air critter trap. Oh, okay. Well, you could just live happy out there. Doing his own thing. Shitting out slime. <laughs> The face is just so... It's just so much. <laughs> I'm waiting for the poop animation. Where's it at? Come on. Come on. Give it to me. It's probably the same thing, huh? It's probably the same, like... Like, uh... uh constipated face. Well, oh, I should come up here and actually disable this thing. That way I don't have to deal with this nonsense. Disable auto repair. Maybe I'll do it. I just don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about your problems, random door. That leads to nowhere. Oh, damn, I missed it! Oh! <laughs> Does anyone have an anus trumpet? <laughs> that was a reference to the, the, the space trumpet, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Galactic trumpet, that's what it is. Come on, go, 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 go. I really want to see what's over here. And look at that, once we open this up. It's gonna be good. A little warm. And then what is this? 30 degrees? Absolutely. Let all that in. What kind of, wait, what kind of air is it over here? Uh, carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide. Lots of carbon dioxide. That's also fine, we could deal with that. Nice little layer of carbon dioxide. Should check our pipes, check our everythings real quick while that's happening. Uh, liquid water everywhere, fantastic. Water is still, still slowly filling this up. We have an entire bin of 24 degree water. Fucking awesome. Don't know what we can use it for yet, but we'll figure it out another time. This is negative 160 degrees. Also awesome. So it means that water is going to get colder and colder as it goes. This is operating at... Uh, well, how come that's not... How come they're not? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? You know, let's just kill these ones. Just kill these pipes. Just get, just get rid of them. I don't care if it goes out into space. <laughs> we have achieved some kind of balance somehow. We're not making any more petroleum, which is fine because we have to keep this. Because all, the, all these things are way too uh, uh, volatile to uh, or susceptible to overheating. So. How dare you have CO2 in my- I know, I know, I'm so good at not having CO2 in my base. What is this? Eggshell. Oh, cool. That'll just go in the rot bin. Make sure you're still using obsidian. Yes. Oh. We could do the bottom. And then we'll just mop up the rest, and I think we've done a pretty good job of having a, a nice insulated tunnel that we could use to get to where we need to get to. Keep these two areas separated. Doesn't last forever, though. <laughs> it does not last forever. I guess the only way we could really keep this, you know, from, or really slow it down uh, from uh, overheating, because this this will eventually penetrate. Uh, but it'll take forever. It'll take forever. But the only way to keep it from doing that is to put like a gas pipe in there, just pumping cold, just oxygen, just like enough oxygen to to flow out and just you know from one end to the other. I guess. Egg, egg, egg shells are for. Uh, more steel. Yeah, they make, um, you could turn them into, like, something, yeah, to make more steel. That's right. That's right. You're right. That is a thing. Lime. I have... <laughs> Mike, I have you, and I hate you? Is that what that was? <laughs> no, I got, I, I, I got what you were saying, but that's just... <laughs> uh, autocorrect. Did you mean this? I give up. <laughs> 
That's how it is. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. And then once buddy that there. And then once these are built, and then we get that last one in there, I'm just gonna have a mop this up, and then we're gonna go over. Mopping this up because this is polluting a lot of well, uh, putting out a lot of polluted oxygen. So do that. What is this priority? Nine. Okay, let's just make that an emergency. Let's get done. It's morning time anyways. 900! Woo! I missed it. <laughs> we made it. Let's go to options. Then we're gonna crank this up. And we're gonna make another save. So first we're gonna save the one I have now, because I think I messed it up before. So save uh, 900. Yes, good. So this is 900. Then we're gonna make a new save. This is gonna be the 1000. Save as. New save. One thousand. Takes a minute to save. Get that last one. Get that last one. Come on, come on. Good. Uh, 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 uh. That'd be perfect. Good. Oh. Good. Okay. And then we'll mop all this. Maybe mop some of this is coming down here as well. Just a little, like I said, it's just, it's just generating a bunch of nasty. Like, until it gets underneath the water, like, it's just generating a bunch of nasty air, and I don't want that. Ooh, man, hydrogen is getting everywhere. How's hydrogen doing in this room? Great. 4,000. So it's keeping it around 4,000. So that means we're actually using it then, right? Ish. Ish, ish, ish. How is this? How are these things doing? Next dormancy in 25 cycles. We bring out problems when these things go down. You guys know that, right? We might have to find other another natural gas geyser. Oh, here's my picture. Takes forever. We'll do like two of them just to make sure it gets it. Uh, let's see. This one activity. So this one's dormant right now. Okay, good. Good. We have enough in reserve, so we're actually doing pretty well right now. Uh oh. Does it look like there's not enough oxygen in the base? I shouldn't have said that. Oh, we're good. Mm, mostly good. These rooms are great. I think that our our method of slowly leaking out little bits of uh, of cold air is working a little too well because we're only we're we are just slowly leaking it out. So let's go ahead and raise this up again, 100. I'm making 125, 25. No copy those settings. There we go. Uh, 1,000. This actually might be, let's see, 125, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's, I mean, that's, was that 725 or something? Uh, 625? So, we still wouldn't be clearing through this pipe, but that'll open it up a lot more, so that way, um, I don't think it's going to, because I don't, I don't think it's going to take more than what this split is going to provide, because this split is going to split it, you know, it's like every take is a thousand this way, a thousand that way, a thousand this way, a thousand that way, so I think that by, at 125, we're still under the threshold where it's not going to empty it out completely. Um, although I think a hundred might have been better, like, that would have been a dead even. But we'll see, we'll see how quickly, because this is getting backed up too, so, you know, we might just not see any issues at all, it might be like zero change. Temperature-wise though, 88 degrees, eh, could be better. Oh, we're 130 now. This is why we're this is why we're going hunting. <laughs> no, does nobody mop? <laughs> does nobody mop in this bitch? Oh, priorities. Mop. Emergency mop. What is this? What's going on here? Oh my god. <laughs> Lindsay was just like trying to mop on the whole lake. <laughs> she would have eventually got it. That's why no one was mopping. Alright, let's go ahead and go through here. Start tunneling. <laughs> See what lies on the other side. I'm excited. Exploring. Let's let's uh, make this a little bit more tolerable here. I mean, actually, you know, what is ladders made out? A hundred each. I mean, it's basically like a tile, but it's it seems silly. That makes it smooth. Oh, damn it. I just want to see. Oh, look at this. Ethanol. Ooh. We definitely have no shortage of oil. Like, that's for sure. But I would really like to find another natural gas geyser or something, man. Something, you know? 
What is this thing's deal? Insufficient resources lime. Oh, we've officially run out of lime. High processed lime. Uh, I know you could refine things using the kiln, maybe? Like, is that... No, it doesn't do it. Something refining or something. It's refining something. Kill metal refiner, ethanol, allergy to store, da, 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 desalinator, glass fort, oil refiner, molecular fort, oxalate. Hmm. Um, you guys have any idea? <laughs> How do I take eggshell? Let me make lime. Let me see. Uh, oxygen not included. Lime. Look it up. Lime wiki. Let's pull this over. Alright, lime is a consumable ore that is used in steel making. It does not spawn as tiles in the world, it's eggshells. Okay, so you use processed eggshells, polka shell, mulch, which I know where there's a lot of those. Uh, or fossil in a rock crusher. Rock crusher. Got it. That's all I need to see. And then that's just somebody just coming to punch in this thing for a while. Rock crusher. Bull wife. Drakeard, thank you so much. Both of you guys. I was just a little bit faster. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, rock crusher. Put it right. Mmm. You know, last time I did this, I had it all the way up here, and I actually did pretty well because we didn't really have to use too much uh, power. So let's set it up here. What is this line? This line is potential. Ah, we'll use this one. Potential load 360. What the fuck? Oh my god, this whole circuit is basically uh oh overheat damage. <gasps> oh, it's made out of lead. Why do we make batteries out of lead? That's so dumb. Deconstruct. Damn it. Deconstruct. These are lead too. Yeah, this room's getting hot. And yeah, well, I mean, lead is not gonna last anyways, but still. Might as well replace these too, actually. Deconstruct lead batteries. What year is this? Car exactly, exactly. Because <laughs> cars have lead batteries, will be fine. All right, we'll make it out of not lead. <laughs> we'll make it out of copper, huh? Um, Iron. So, bloop, bloop. Let's get these guys. In the morning, I guess. Pass Mike is such a dingus! I know! Pass Mike is terrible! What is he even thinking? Uh oh, did I just paint a whole bunch of batteries everywhere? Oh, I gotta stop the uh, the, set, the auto save for the uh, giant screenshot. We got enough giant screenshots. Let me see options, game, and then. Oop. Good. So that'll get built. Uh, but, but once again, that line is using basically no power, which I, I think for our purposes right now, it's actually fine because we're gonna use this. Uh, on that line, so it actually worked out in the long run. Then we'll run power to it, and then we'll tell it to poke a, sh poke a shell molt. Uh, let's see, lime, poke a shell molt. I know I don't have any, but I know, ex I know exactly where to get a whole bunch. So we'll let it go through fossil to lime. Oh, wow. Uh, I won't do that forever because that seems a bit overkill. We'll, we'll just do what we have. We'll use what we have, and then we'll go from there. We'll from right to tungsten. I use tungsten. You have to use tungsten to make something. I don't remember what it was. Anyways, yeah, polka shell molts. Um, look, like, there are just so many down here. I was thinking of just, like, this popping right here, just popping on right, right this, uh, this tile, and just having somebody go down and collect them all. And that way it's, yeah, that'd be all we ever need. Murph. Nope. Is the base getting thinned down on oxygen? It is, uh, but it's gotta be, I mean, let me see, this is coming through, what is this? 51 degrees, this is coming through. 51 degrees. What if I'm not giving enough time? What if I should just crank this up some more? Make it like 150? Enter and then copy settings. It's hard because, you know, you want to give it time to actually propagate, you know, you make a change and it's like, well, let me just see if I can do blank. Uh, so body temperature, I have body, body temperature issues now uh, down here. So this is another area we're going to have to probably maybe take that wheeze wart out and replace it with this setup. We'll see. Careful not to pick up them. I know, they're dicks. They're huge dicks. We'll click that later, though. I think I think we should have enough to get started at the very least. Lime, so yeah, they'll somebody will come up here, rock crush this stuff. Uh, oh, do we not have any more? Oh, we actually are out unless I use. Oh, he's making some. What's he making with? In use, eggshell. Okay, so use eggshells right now. How many eggshells do we have? 
That's a organic eggshell. Oh, we have lots of eggshell. Uh, ish. Not a ton, but we have enough to get started for sure. We're actually running low on algae, of all things. Wow, uh, really low on algae. I wonder if we should just kill all these damn fish and eat them. Because they're using my damn algae. How's this doing? Oh, ho, 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 boy, what I tell you? What did I tell you? All right, let's keep going straight over. Lovely. That is just lovely. What is that plant? I don't know. We'll do this. And then what is this? Uh, obsidian, rust. Okay, we're getting through this. What is this plant? Nosh sprout. Nosh bean. I don't know what that is, but the plant, obviously. Let's keep on going. I don't want to get that. Do I need to go through there? We'll go instead of going all the way through. We'll just go to about here, and we'll just go straight up, maybe. Yeah, we'll come right out on the edge of this. As he digs through an iron volcano to get them. <laughs> that would be that would not be good. Uh, we'll be letting too much. Nah, if you come from the corner, it'll be all right. It'll be fine. Perfect. Oh man, look at that. It lines right up. Maybe we'll put a, a little door right here, actually. This is a small door. Mm, if I make it out of... Oh, I can't make it out of ceramic. I'll just say, but that will probably keep... Keep it from uh, letting all that cool air out. Let's make it whatever I have the most successful, which is probably iron. Is that ethanol type right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's ethanol here, here. I don't know what to do with it yet. Uh, there's also ethanol over here. Yeah, some right here, here, and then here. Like I said, I don't know what to do with it just yet. I'm not quite there yet. Oh my god, my friend sends like 20 texts at once. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, mute you. Sorry, guy. What is he saying? He's saying... Bitch, prices doubles tomorrow. This is the new POE, but not shit. My friend's trying to tell me that this game called... What is it called? Um, Wilson is the new POE. I'm not really interested in the game, but he's going to give me shit until I buy it, and I'm just not going to do it. So. <laughs> no interest. Well, I don't know, actually. Do any of you guys even know about the game? Is Wilson even a game that's even on your guys'... It's like, it's like a Diablo. Or a POE. Co will play it tomorrow. The tall bald guy, Donis. He sent me that message. So rust. Yeah, we can slide right in here. Nice and cool air. Look at this. Nice and well, carbon dioxide, but still nice and cool. Bring that over. Bring some of that deliciousness over here. All right, but nobody's, it doesn't seem, I haven't heard about this game except for him. Like, he's the only person I've heard mention this game. Uh, and it looks, I mean, it looks good. It looks like a Diablo, but, but personally, Diablo 3 Switch has ruined me. Um, I like PoE, but, like, I, if it doesn't have control support, man, like, I'm, I'm not going to bother with it. Like, Diablo 3 on, on uh, Xbox 360 first, and then uh, on Switch has basically ruined me on ARPGs. Like with mouse and keyboard, just can't do it, man. I mean, maybe if it's like something crazy, but because of that exact, <laughs> I didn't mention it to you because of that of exact fact. Is yeah, it's funny, man. All it takes is like one game to do something that's just like that sets it apart, you know. And I hate to say that about a Blizzard product right now, but but but. Credit where credit where credit is due. Um, it is it is definitely uh, it's poisoned me, man. How are we doing on work, Aaron? Okay, good. So now we have enough lime to get started here. We have oh no, we don't. Just kidding. <laughs> I think we have to collect up these poke shells because I don't think the the regular shells are enough. So let me go ahead and actually poke a hole in here so we can 
poke in there and get our poke shells. So deconstruct that. And then we'll do a sweep of everything in here. We'll do a sweep like nine. Do I have a place to store these things though? Wait a second. What the fuck was that? Did you see that fly across the screen? What was that? Oh, it was. <laughs> it was a tube. <laughs> I guess I'm just not used to that yet. Um, they like jumping. Okay. Uh, well, maybe they want to get out and explore the area. That's fine. And if they attack somebody, then we'll fight back. We'll probably sacrifice a dupe. Uh, shit, what was I gonna do before I was distracted by the dupe flying by? Oh, I wanted to check the bins to see if they have support for poker shells. Probably in here, actually, but... Let me see. Consumable ore, critter egg... Uh... These are all the same setup. Organic. Eggshell, algae, no poke shell. That's gonna be under probably industrial ingredient, I'm guessing. Because it is industrial ingredient. Poke shell malts. There it is. If we're gonna use it for refining and that's it, we should set it up here. Get that built super fast. But I'm really looking for oh good. I mean it looks good. I watched the trailer and it it looked like you know it looked like it was a, a solid uh ARPG for sure. Dust your ingredients, poker shell malt, poker shell malt. Yes. And that'll be like a nine for malt. There we go. Then we'll go down here and we'll tell it to Oh he got out! I don't know what he's gonna do, but he got out. Okay, so sweep all this stuff up. Messed up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. K9, sweep this up. We need these malts. We need to make steel. Need more steel. They can, uh, yeah, they can climb in here. Good. So they can jump, but it looks like they can't jump down. So they'll be relegated to this area right here, if anything. But what are their, what are their needs? Wild, happy, hungry. Sepulchre shows a non-hostile creature. Not non-hostile, huh? That's not what I've experienced. That eat polluted dirt and rot piles. The shells they leave behind. Uh, okay, so uh, diet polluted dirt and rot pile. Mm, okay. Some water weeds down here too. Good. And they'll run that up here. And this supply, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Slowly but surely. And then we can make poke shell malt to lime. 15 units, 17 units. Why is there two of them? Uh, and then. Are we slowly processing? I feel like it's always been five. Maybe it's always been five. I just didn't notice. Remember, remember the time we were going to come down here and build all kinds of crazy stuff back in the day? Kiln, can I make that? Make anything out of this that's useful? Refine carbon. How much refined carbon do I have? I just want to make sure that our supplies is like maintaining here. Let me see. Iron and steel. Refined carbon. Oh, uh, we could probably make a little bit more. The good old days. Exactly. The good old days. 